everyone. We're back with part eight. Mm Mm-hmm. Let's get right into it here. Bam. Looking at a small portion of the big head really doesn't do justice to the immense size of the statue. But you can see that Never the mind the was big head. With Look at that care, size of the freaking turkey. As if the You're right. Life depends <laughs> it's on huge. It, which it did. Really, they hunted a bloody ostrich to get it. Well, considering the stuff you find in the basement of this museum, I'm not <laughs> saying it's out of the realm of possibility. The drumstick is probably bigger than Laura's entire torso. Oh, that could feed my entire family. <laughs> Me and my daddy. And my dead mom. <laughs> Just don't know. Uh, I wish daddy didn't prop up mom against the dinner table. It's a little weird. It's a little weird when I try and call boys over. I gotta make sure I prep Steve for it. <laughs> he probably won't mind. He's yeah. so nice. I mean, I think he... Didn't he say he had a dead parent? He's probably yeah, used he's, to it. Yeah, you know. I mean, Normal everyone's... Behavior. Everyone's dead parent probably does this, right? Right? <laughs> So, uh, we're gonna go explore the rest of the museum now that we've exhausted all, right. all of our chatting. Mm-hmm. Well, there's some, uh, funky paint on the walls with, there. And no. Oh, uh, yeah. Is that intended to be, like, a like a weird stripey spotty thing, or is uh, that... The painters probably just said funky. Now, is it... <laughs> They've repainted Shut so up, many British times. lady. You, you don't like the Despite British lady. She the busts the my balls creature. all the time. Oh, we are not friends. No. Every time I misclick <laughs> on something, she chastises me, and it's just She's not okay. She's trying to help you learn. She's trying to ruin my life. Oh, come on. No. Oh. No. Unless you you got to work hard to redeem yourself, British lady. <laughs> just. Ugh. She'll swoop in one day and save Laura Bow and completely redeem herself. Oh, hi, Hammer. Uh, come on. Crack tongue, baby. German! This time. You are disturbing the paintings. Rouse, you leave oh. now. Mark Schnell. Man, we were all comfortable before you came in. <laughs> I'd love it if they revealed he wasn't really German. That everybody who has, like, an accent turns out to not be the nationality they're trying to portray. Well, I mean, we had that with low fat. Uh, yeah. According per- to Carter. Allegedly. Anyways, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, we never apparently... Um, Carter lies a lot. He also said he didn't want to sleep with Yvette. Yeah. Apparently, we're never going to see Low Fat again, so wasn't that a lovely, like, two videos we spent learning his the nonsense? Male and female triceratops <laughs> look every inch Shut up, we gotta talk about triceratops. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's relevant. A fairly accurate model of Struthiomimus, or ostrich mimic. Oh, that's, that's probably yeah. where he's got the turkey from. That's <laughs> fine. Oh. The pterodactyl frozen in mid-swoop presents a most horrific tableau. It's kind of that horrific. The lamest museum. Yeah, it's... It's all right. Do you think that the Triceratops are like a display, or is that just like a painting on a wall? It's probably just a mural. <laughs> this is a crappy museum. Yeah, well, they hired like three guys to they do it in a weekend. They spent all their budget on that giant mummy uh, head. Hello, other dinosaur. Uh, I'm not suspicious at all. <laughs> the T-Rex has kind of got a flirty look. Do you like how I positioned the eye over his oh, eye? That's, but not exact, it so it looks a little weird. Yeah, well, you know. His name is Rex. Isn't that clever? <laughs> no! Oh, you got That's the joke. The furthest from. Identifies this dinosaur as an do, do you think that this is the dinosaur that Yvette and, uh, and uh, from the Tyrannosaurus uh, Rex's yeah, point of view, enough. this dinosaur oh. could be identified <laughs> as dinner? Oh, clever! While this is an interesting approach, it shut up. <laughs> 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 shh, 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 shh. Let Laura uh, Bow. Oh no, no. <laughs> Laura! Right in the purse. No! It's fine. No, but it's part of, it's- no! That's how museums work, right? Free samples? Well, I don't see a sign saying not to take this <laughs> priceless dinosaur bone, so find his keepers! <laughs> <laughs> and off I go. Oh, god. So he- Heimlich is off in that one room guarding the paintings, but this there's- This door is the bane of my existence. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the best journalist in the world. <laughs> oh, the, the, oh I, I, I did it. I find that I have to do a, a crab walk into the into <laughs> the, the room. Is empty. It's the most effective. <laughs> oh my gosh! So that oh. dog is wearing a tiny suit of armor. Ah, oh, that's adorable. Oh, it's pretty cute. Tastefully prepared for battle in sixteenth <laughs> like, century. I like the armor. idea of greyhounds. 
charging. Is that what they An did? I, I don't know. Some dog historian, Although please enlighten me. Although the carvings on the exterior are crude, it'd be great if they had like a little tiny monkey or something that also that rode the dog that like a horse that be, and, and also had a suit of armor. That blacksmith would be so pissed off. <laughs> I tried to fit a, a monkey. monkey. Come on, guys. Uh, it keeps throwing its crap at me whenever I try and put the suit on. I armored a snail last week. That was the final straw, okay? <laughs> Snails, there's no such thing as a battle snail. I checked. That's why it's so great, Greg. We could totally revolutionize the war. <laughs> Greg was a common name in the olden days. <laughs> yeah, well, it probably was spelt with, like, uh, fancy... Four, four Gs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and they're all, like, in a, in a really nice calligraphy. <laughs> All right, so we're uh, on our way now to the Egyptian room. Ah. Yeah, so uh, this is the meat of the exhibit. <laughs> what a crappy little room! Uh, it's pretty shitty. You'd think that if they found their way into a, a friggin' temple, they'd, they'd have a little more to it show. It looks remarkably no. like a glass case no. in the shape of a pyramid. Oh, that's good. A small card <laughs> shame if someone that broke this it. case contained the famous dagger Oh, what are you trying to say? Uh, Ra, I don't know. Missing. What am I trying to say? <laughs> it looks remarkable. Oh, you clumsy <laughs> idiot. <laughs> Congratulations. That's a doodle. You've cracked the case of the Dagger of Amor Ra. Oh, that's, <laughs> that was a terrible pun set up. Well, Daddy always told me to be honest, so I guess I'll just leave this here and if never mention it. Someone else can clean it's it up. It's bad. the sort of thing you want to examine too closely. <laughs> so, to summarize, Laura Bo came into a museum, annoyed the patrons, stole a glass, stole a fossil, and broke an exhibit. <laughs> Look at the pyramid shows you the I'm green the greatest journalist in the world. Find higher education. So, as it turns out, stealing and breaking things in a museum Kufa. is not um not really a stupid thing. So, um, as a with result, I have been banned limestone. from the Lion Dick Museum for life. Uh -huh. the and um, Steve Doyen also, for some reason, put a restraining order on me. I'm scared. I'm not sure why he did that because, you know, we do have to get married after all. <laughs> um, make it a little difficult to say them all. Yeah. So, um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna show up at his house and just wait for him. And I'm sure we will just be the able to pop this out. The third, also known as and she says Hunter this as third, she's like writing in her own blood that she got from the sla Ra, smashed glass. <laughs> <laughs> In the fifth year of his reign, <laughs> marched into Nubia Immediately the game just like does a swerve he and we're playing from Grandfather's point of view and Laura Bow has gone quite murderous and just started killing everyone. We also get know that Daniel Fiss is a mighty with me all the time. What a the mystery! <laughs> in his spare time. Now he's dead. Oh, no, that was dark. <laughs> All right. I like the potato sack you you heard standing. <laughs> That's in. fancy. Ah, how how come I had to go out and get this fancy dress, but you can just walk on in here with your. I uh, I left the room. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, you know. <laughs> All right, let's just go the way we're supposed to. <laughs> this is. Shut up. I told you she's. She's just trying to help. Just be nice. Ah, <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, I, yeah. So oh. have I mentioned that this game isn't terribly good at recognizing when you wish to go somewhere else? <laughs> uh, yeah. Again, this is a very, uh, sparse museum for... For something that, I don't know, I, I got the impression that they had found all these treasures and the that they had pilfered a ton. The slab of black basalt yep. as the Rosetta Stone. Ah, oh, yeah, Rosetta Stones. This English is part of a puzzle. Okay, yeah, can stone. you guess how this works? Uh, pre well, presumably we're gonna have to translate something. Um, yeah, mm -hmm. uh, luckily, uh, this the is a very, uh, very realistic Rosetta Stone. <laughs> okay. It came yep. into the possession mm -hmm. of the British mm -hmm. government after the capitulation of Alexandria. Once this British lady shuts the hell up, the we'll probably take a look at it. <laughs> <laughs> she just wants us to, to know, so ancient just to Egyptian inform all the little English children text. who are playing this that game. You notice that half of the Rosetta Stone seems to be missing from the Display, everybody. Replaced by a small this is a map book report on Egyptology by Laura Bow, age 22, 26 <laughs> by O.M. 
G. <laughs> oh, oh. What? <laughs> no! <laughs> no! No, that's how the reserve No! <laughs> no, no oh, they carefully wrote, like, English no, letters on it. No, is, it's fine. No, this is the saddest goddamn thing. Oh my god. No! Yeah, so the Egyptians very thoughtfully created their hieroglyph system oh my to god. correspond uh, with letters that we use. The mysteries of ancient Egypt will never be able to fully translate their hieroglyphs. <laughs> if only... <laughs> no. Let's go look at this uh, just... tomato sauce oh, on yes. the floor. Oh. Ironically, Intrigue. there's a gold Ankh medallion, oh. the ancient Egyptian symbol yeah. of life. Resting in the pool and of who, blood. who did we see, uh, with a onk around their neck earlier? Oh. A close look reveals the initials P.S. <laughs> inscribed in the back the of the The game onk. spells it out for you because it does not have any faith in you whatsoever <laughs> to retain, uh, information. You pick it up and place I, uh, it in your purse. Uh, I, just I, keep us. You know, I actually forgot his name was, uh, but, uh, Apparently the shoe's like, owner stepped in some of the blood. blood. It apparently belongs to a dainty foot. Ah, a dainty foot that looks to be in a high heel. So... That's... Yeah. Basically every, every well, woman. Everyone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well... So let's just uh, open this up. Who... I... I... Can only guess! It's, uh... It's... Yeah. That's pretty gruesome. That's not who. There are no signs, oh. it could just mean that Doctor Cut. That's not who I was expecting at all. But it certainly shines a suspicious light on uh, Mr. Mr. Smith. Mr. Smith and apparently in his dainty high heels. Well enough to get close and stab him without arousing any suspicion. British lady takes a lot of fiendish glee in this. Or it could just mean that Doctor Carter was completely taken by surprise when someone assaulted him from the shadows. <laughs> you dolts, you're stabbing me all wrong! Blood, but there is a bluish stain on one lapel. A close look and sniff at the stain makes you think it's <laughs> fruit juice. That's gonna... The that's gonna on get really cut. Yeah. 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 The jacket is free of blood. The bulge on one's... Good <laughs> lord, Lorbo. Creepy as shit, Lorbo. ...the dagger wound and its proximity to the vest. It's safe I'm to just gonna check the every the aspect of this corpse. The it's the not often chest. I get an opportunity oh. like this. I miss the smell of dead body. Oh. Oh, that's the just blood appears Why to is be the blood still blood. flowing if he's supposed to be this dead? This explain Dr. Um, Carter's pale appearance. You know, a close look after, at the dead uh, house, after the words, you die, your blood stays, uh, grows for it's another like, four years is it like getting Is it like getting maple syrup from a tree? You yeah, just stick the knife in and it just kind of drizzles out. The yeah, the and then Canadians look it up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's what but sustains us through the cold winters. To examine in detail. <laughs> <laughs> you think it's tree sap, but it's actually blood. Or it could <laughs> All Canadians are vampires. <laughs> now you know. Oh. When you reach into Pippin's tuxedo jacket, you find a notepad in his inner pocket. <laughs> oh, there we go. 3 a.m. Bone, you, you vet. And place it in your purse. <laughs> I'm just gonna take evidence from the crime scene. <laughs> Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> well, this looks worse oh. than it is. Oh, uh, so uh, how you doing? <laughs> um, nice weather we've been having. You scream like a banshee, lass. Oh, Did you I... kill the man then? Yep. Oh, uh, that, that's what me. That's what happens when someone screams upon finding a body. <laughs> Lord, I'm just then. picturing her with like a murder. knife, and she's just ah! no. whoever yells it dealt it. Great cracking police work there, bro. Look at this. I cracked the case. Oh, uh, and thus ends Act Two. Oh my goodness, I yeah. I was not expecting that. I've been so excited all week for Shaw to see this <laughs> because I just was like, yes, the game finally got good. Yeah, I yeah. Uh, I was, I mean, once we saw the blood, obviously I figured someone would die, but I was completely convinced we would see uh, Dr. Smith in that. Excellent uh, work. Your but father would not. be proud of you. Oh. <gasps> Daddy's proud of me? Oh my god. Oh, Daddy. Uh, it's all for you. <laughs> all right, so it's about... Uh, 
so uh, O'Reilly is uh, looks like he's quickly interviewing people. Uh, that's probably fine. Did you kill him? No. <laughs> okay, move along. <laughs> oh shit! I ran out of suspects. Well, clearly it was no one here. <laughs> Who the fuck's this? Hi, Miss Bull. I'm Arnie Leach. It's a new Talk character. To stay a while what? And talk to yeah. The staff. I've got to lock the door. It's so Ernie just Leach. Find me when you're ready. No. He's the janitor. Dr. C also has a key. You don't want to bother him. <laughs> Why are we him. introducing characters? Thank you, Three Mr. acts Leech. into the game. Because pacing is difficult. Be careful where you go. <laughs> Wolf will get upset if he finds you downstairs. Oh. <laughs> you He's also got a case of telepathy. I see that you two have the Shannon. <laughs> Did you manage to learn anything from your interviews, <laughs> Detective O'Reilly? I don't have any faith in you at all. Don't bother your little head about it, lass. <laughs> he also has That's no faith job, in her. Sir. It's this not your job, Laura. Investigation, Miss Paul. Would it help Do if I didn't travel with the cram scene? Because <laughs> oh, I, I did. Was I not supposed to I do that? What's going on. I took the and victim's the finger and wrote, Your vet did it. I hope Dr. that didn't Carter mess anything up. Someone's sticking a gift shop dagger in his chest. What more do you need to no, know? No, it's a Phoenix Wright mystery. Well, mm. for one thing, who did it? Oh, <laughs> someone who didn't like him. That's my guess. I have one important really question. Deduction. Who done it? If you like, think that uh, you can do uh, better. Journalism. <laughs> Did you oh, kill <laughs> Crawford? Did you kill Murder? <laughs> Dear Crawford. Terribly clever. I've solved murders before. You did? You, you didn't out of really. Way, you basically walked around all night till yeah, someone told you what happened. We did dig all, Laura. <laughs> you liar. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Heimlich. Well, all in all, today was a good day. <laughs> Dear diary. <laughs> It's all happening again. <laughs> it seems like death follows me everywhere I go. <laughs> it is a pretty sweet deal when you're trying to be a journalist. <laughs> I might have hit the money cash cow. <laughs> oh, and everyone just ditched, I guess. Well, you know. Oh, who's going to eat the giant turkey? I don't feel like anyone's hungry after seeing the desecrated, well, not desecrated, but, uh, yeah. stabinated. Yeah, so we've got, uh, the Countess kind of wandering about here. Um, yeah, but now we're just gonna randomly see people, I mean, they go places, but it's not always relevant where they end up. Oh. Sometimes it is, though. I thought everybody went home or something. No, horse, everybody's here. Suzette, alive in Godoni. Well, we have a crime scene, but I figure it'd be good if everybody just kind of wanders about, you know, trampling on any possible story. evidence, and uh, dead make sure that uh, you all pay respects to Carter and, and, you know, kind hell. of smudge the blood around so that we have no proof of anything. Painting, you smear a bit of the paint as if it's still Ooh. damp. Oh, will mm. that be relevant? Who knows? Well, if I, I would hazard a guess that if the paint is still damp that perhaps there's forgeries abound uh, yeah. and i cannot get out of the room again <laughs> <laughs> laura bow's greatest challenge yeah uh sup penguin yeah muffled voices coming through the door to yvette's office so that uh that glass we took yeah. earlier can you imagine what we're using oh, for? yeah i kind of like that actually it's it's cute enough yeah Thank Why you does your bed get an office and I don't? This is very nice of you. You don't work here? You're very welcome, my dear. Oh. What can I do for you? Oh, you see, I found this strange bone. This is act and I, I actually myself, really like this interaction that's about to occur. I think it's really adorable. See, it would be Olympia. <laughs> a bone, you say? How fascinating. Where did you find it? I found it right here in the museum. Here it is, Doctor. <laughs> I do no, also steal from the exhibit. Let me see. I'm a bit of a bone collector. <laughs> that oh, silly girl. I've got a bit of a boner a going on. Bone. It is? Yes. yes, of course. Why, it is still greasy. You got this at dinner, <laughs> didn't you? What? Oh, you have caught me, Olympia. I was playing the little joke on you. Okay. You are a yeah. funny girl, And then they make out? But I am no. I fond of you. They're just bros. Olympia, we have Sisters. the good friends. Okay. Now. I have the problem I wish to talk to you about. Oh, certainly. What is it? 
I'm surprised I'm Lorbo's Joseph, gotten this so far without getting caught. Oh yeah. It is uh, very personal. I haven't got caught I using the glass method yet. To hmm. over here. Oh my. That Laura Bo was snooping oh, forever, my. so. Oh my. Uh, I, I think that she's honestly just telling her a secret. I don't think it's kind of I kind of like. wish that they didn't have uh, Miklos' uh, portrait on screen, so you just kind of saw the oh my. <laughs> Heard. And it, yeah, or yeah. <laughs> and it... Oh, now we're gonna go. <laughs> Uh, check out He's Mik just kind of drunkenly wandering yeah, around. Well, you isn't know. He? So this is Miklos's office. Oh, okay. Yeah. So there's a few interesting things. I'm having a little Sorry, trouble Pimbit, with the navigation. Why is there a three-legged skeleton from hanging from the ceiling? Apparently, straight I from never noticed that. Many years ago. I should check that His out. Remains <sighs> were later found in a rarely used storage closet. Yeah. Mm. Since he left no known survivors. The museum president decided to keep him on as a permanent <laughs> staff member. Because that's this legal. Oh, his permanent that's home. kind of sad. <laughs> Pretty sure there's a law that you're not allowed to keep a dead it's a body. Wreck, well, I mean, well, back then they were kind of stuffed. lax on uh, getting skeletons for, uh, there's an array of you know, studying and all that. That's the how case. there were a whole lot of cases of grave robbing and. Well, that's fair. In, in the case, there are some serial killers who profited on the murdering behavior. people and then selling their skeletons for uh, science. Oh, ah, desk is large and impressive. Uh, I'm guessing that's like a snake. That is a snake. Cage it's sort of bonny. seems like an infect ineffectual cobra. way to contain a snake, especially a freaking cobra. Yep, that pr has spitting venom. Uh, Miklos is not the most responsible of pet owners. <laughs> ah, it's, I'm sure glad that snakes can't, up. you know, crawl through tiny spaces. Oh wait. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, what? It's the second half of the Rosetta Stone. The oh, oh, she. Of the famed oh. Rosetta Stone. Yeah. Why does she have it? I don't really know. This is this makes me so bad. I know. This is the dumbest thing ever. That and and that and o, o and that's possibly a Q. <laughs> I it's not, I didn't learn my alphabet at all. <laughs> I don't remember. The alphabet's a little differently arranged in New Orleans. <laughs> so. so you use the Rosetta Stone to translate this message. <laughs> yep. This is just kind of sad. It's kind of sad. So, what what does the message say? Uh, I'll translate it later for Okay, the, when yeah. it becomes appropriate. Dr. Yeah. desk is locked. <laughs> ah, it's so big. The boss says, Press Dr. Nurbun's guaranteed snake oil. Okay. Yep. Uh, does she use it on her snake? She oh. actually is going to explain what she uses it for. I, I saw that you were snooping in my office. <laughs> Good and... evening, Miss Bull. Oh! <laughs> uh, I was just uh, oh, admiring the, the desk. Doesn't hmm. it? Well, at least well, I successfully I so. dropped on one person today. I see you were looking at my. So did that a win for Larbo? <laughs> well, I was just. I'll take what I can get. <laughs> I'm sure you meant no harm. What's the snake oil for, anyway? It repels snakes, of course. What? Of comes course. In handy when no. no, it's like shark repellent. No! It's fine. I cobras down there a few weeks ago, <laughs> what? and I occasionally come across one of those little darlings. No! Those snakes yes, are everyone at the museum biting, is walking sure around in a snake pit, quite it. literally. It's just what? that way. They get nervous very easily, you know. Normally, what? I love to watch them kill things. My barman will kill anything he can sink his teeth This game just into. broke. I'm just baffled. Charming. What? <laughs> well, I'd like to chat Ah, oh, look at my magical feather. I use it to repel uh, uh, velociraptors. <laughs> yeah, they exist. That's just stupid. Guy. Velociraptors <laughs> don't <laughs> exist. <laughs> Well, peace out. I guess continue rifling through my office. It's fine. Mm. I clearly don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, the music ended on a nice little note there to just kind of really? bring attention to the awkwardness of the situation. 
Oh, well. <laughs> so you can see there that the thinker's head is now lifted up. Oh. Yeah. So that means uh, ah, that's how you open a staircase. Yeah. Interesting. The staircase is actually over there, or as, as though you will... Though, as you will see, let's mm -hmm. get that sentence right, uh, it's not Heavy open right now. Yeah. But Each that is how you open it. You can kind of see the outline of it there. Yeah. And we'll be checking that out later. This museum was apparently designed by the Phantom of the Opera. Well, you know. <laughs> it and all ties together. <laughs> Alright. So now let's go poke around Yvette's office. Well, <laughs> Whatever, Carrington. No one cares about you. That's right. I, I really want those, those files in the back there to be a Murphy bed in disguise. <laughs> pounds, you can take it anywhere. Well, you could if it was useful to you, which it isn't, so forget it. <laughs> wow, oh, got the smackdown. Damn. So let's just rifle through her trash. Oh, of course. You know. I like how Laura doesn't even know that this would be relevant at all. This is just something she does. Place it in your purse. <laughs> she just literally, she just tries everything. Yep. And it just, it manages to bring her success at some point. So this... It's used carbon paper. Yeah. And you know what we do with used carbon paper? Um, presumably it would have the, the imprint of... The carbon paper of... crinkles when you touch it. I, I don't know the why carbon I did that. I hate uh, the control system. I, I think I've mentioned that. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. Uh, it, it would have a copy of whatever was last written on it? Yeah, so let's hold it up to the light. Yeah. Backlit. You can read the words typed into the carbon paper. Ernie. Big Al called to see if you could do some fencing for him next week. He says he'll make it worth your while to do a fast Ooh. fencing job. Hmm. I don't know why you would write that, but uh, there you go. Uh, oh. So it looks like Mr. Ernie Leach is doing some fencing. <laughs> the new breakout character of yeah. Act 3. Oh! Yeah, we're gonna turn that off, because we need that light bulb. But more importantly, we need it to be cool. A match to be crossed <laughs> we can't take the light bulb when it's hot! No, Nora Bo needs to wait for about approximately five minutes for this to cool down. Well, you know. A paper cut it's okay, while we're waiting, blade. we'll go take a poke around Carrington's oh office. Oh my goodness, it's that's hilarious. So if we were to try and pull it out now, it'd be like, too hot? Oh. oh my goodness. You would hurt yourself. <laughs> oh, Sierra. flytrap. What? Yep. Is that? No. Yeah. Oh, I guess those are supposed to be the the mouths. I guess so. I... I'm not saying it's great art. Yeah. Well, I guess it's. Oh. oh yeah. It's kind of pretty. Carrington's office. Oh. Yeah. Oh, huh. that's kind of. I kind of like this office. I wish I I had a room like it, this with the sky view. So you can't hear it right now, but. Uh... I'm just gonna poke around and use the wrong buttons, and then uh, we're gonna use this. Oh, so now someone is in your vets. Yep. Monsieur Nagir, I am oh. wanting to show you something. <gasps> no, Ramses, you're married. <laughs> you got two and a half children. Look at the palm of my hand. It doesn't matter. It Look at the palm of my hand. Wouldn't sure. your penis fit so <laughs> nicely in it? <laughs> <laughs> you see this line, Monsieur? It is my love line. Um... My goodness, Miss Delacroix. No, Ramsey, it goes no! all the way up your arm. No! <laughs> up your sleeve. No, Would think you of your life. You were the chosen one. You were the nice one. I, uh, no, no, everyone's shit in this um, game. No! Have you ever been to Paris, Ramsey? Except for Steve, who's just kind of dumb. No. <laughs> <laughs> He's too nice. Him. You'd think that Laura Bow would be nice, but she steals from museums. Yeah, <laughs> it causes destruction wherever she goes. No. Well, by all means, let me show you. No. Miss Delacroix, please. I'm a married man. Oh, yes, dear. fight it. No, Ramses. Have you forgotten no. who let you into the museum? <laughs> Have you forgotten who showed you the secret room for your little what? ceremonies? You haven't oh. No, I haven't, but... Coercion. Then you will let me give you the grand tour of the tower, no? <laughs> give you the grand tour we'll of my vagina! <laughs> that that is the implication that. there. Oh my yes. goodness! Keep the way, monsieur. No! <laughs> no! Oh! And thus we end this episode with the crushing of Shah's soul. I'm literally sad. Oh. I thought he seemed so nice and now he's gonna go cheat on his wife. Yep. No. 
just Aww. goes to show you, uh, even good men are powerless against French hussies. What a dick! Did, yeah, they yeah. will be. That's what Yvette said. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh touche. All right, we'll see you next time All right. with part nine. Bye. Goodbye. <laughs>《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》